Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. You are watching our cloud school. Today in this video, we are going to talk about the difference between parameters and the variables with Azure Data Factory. In our previous demonstrations, we have used both parameters and variables, but we have not compared one by one to both of these concepts. So I'll show you in this in this video, I'll show you the difference between both of these concepts and when this type of resources or the functionality should be used in your program or in your data factory implementation. So now if, let me just go to the authors tab where we can find all our data factory resources such as pipeline, data set, data factory, link services and many more. So now each of these resource type you would see that whenever you define any of these resource type there is a parameters tab available which means that you can define or attach the parameters to any of these resource type as you can see from here i have the parameters section available in my pipeline so this is my pipeline section and i'm at the creation of the pipeline right so i've just now opened and defined the pipeline so and here you have the option to define the parameters you can define any number of parameters now what is the meaning of the parameter let's say if you would like to define a pipeline which is for reusability purpose let's say i would like to define a pipeline for copying a file from a blob storage to another blob storage so what i can do is i can create a pipeline with two parameters let's say a source location and the destination location are the name of the two parameter once these two parameter values are passed while executing the pipeline the pipeline will perform the copy activity from source location to destination location and that's easy and simple one of the reusable pipeline easiest reusable pipeline which i can come across right so that's one of the example how you can make use of the parameter with the concept of pipeline now we know that the pipeline uses some of the other resources like data set data flow now if i go to the example of data set which is this one you can see that the same concept is available which is the parameter concept with the data set as well here also i can define one or many type of parameters right irrespective of what kind of a data set what type of data set you are defining which in this case i am defining the azure block storage data type which is going to deal with the json file format but still i have the option for parameters now similarly if i go to the data flow instance which i've just tried creating or started creating it again i have the parameter concept so for most of the resource type whether it is link service data set data flow pipelines you would find a concept of having the parameter and the purpose is that if you would like to create a reusable instance of these resource type then may, you can make use of the parameter right whereas now if i talk about the variables you would find that the variables options are only available or restricted to pipeline level you would not find the variable concept at the data set level you can see that there is no variables tab here at data set there is no variables tab at the data flow level and i hope and i'm and it is also not available at the and it is also not available at the link service and the integration runtime level as well. So that's number one difference that the variables are only available at the point of pipeline. Now let's define a parameter and a variable and I'll show you a difference. So I'm going to call it as an environment name and same environment name I will define it for my variable as well. Now for both variables and parameters you can have a same name because these are two different type of attributes which you are attaching to your resource type which is pipeline so it will not conflict even though the names are same right now here if you look at once you define you can have a data type associated with either of these so the data types which are available with the pipe parameters are integer string float boolean you can have array type as well you can have object type of parameter as well as you can have secure string as well right so it is a wide variety of list which is available as in data type which you can define for your parameter right on the other hand if i open the variables the list is limited you would not find a wide range of different data types which you can deal with it in the variables 
you just have the string boolean ar array and the integer there is no secure string there is no object concept with the variable right that's another difference now the let's talk about the other thing uh, you can have a default value associated with both parameters and variables so i can have an environment name as in dev as the default value here i can have a default value as in test so test environment is going to be for the variable now as we know that in order to use the parameters or variable the way you use these parameters and variables you use these inside the activities on your resource type whether it is a pipeline activities or data flow activities or the configuration of your data set right so let's say i would like to define an activity which is of type lookup and lookup type activity requires some configuration for an example it will ask me to specify the data set let me just use a data set which is already created which is what the json1 data set now the way you use both variables and parameters is with the help of dynamic content what do i mean by that any configuration attribute let's say this is an attribute which is filtered by loss modified if i click on here you would find that add dynamic content with alt shift delete keyboard shortcut so if i click here on this hyperlink it would open a pop up window and that is where i would get an opportunity to use either a parameter or variable or both of them together right so if you would like to use the parameter you can click on the parameters uh, which is environment name if you would like to use the variables i can click on this tab variable tab and again the variable name is same environment name as in variable type now if i click on the variable type you would see that it is identified with the help of at the rate variables opening small bracket and double and single quotes the name of the variable right similarly if i click on the parameter section and click on this parameter name then which type of parameter it is it will start from the root location root type so it's first is going to be identified the resource type which is a pipeline then the parameter and then the name of the parameter so it is slightly different let me just show you a one by one comparison here you have a variable and here you have a root like the type of resource in which the parameter for which you are using the parameter then parameter and the name of the parameter right so that's the difference now the concept variable is only restricted to the pipeline that is why it's not been specified as in what resource type you are using the variable because we know that variable is only restricted with the pipeline only that could be the reason it is not being used with the resource type which in this case pipeline case it is being used as a resource type similarly let's say if i open the data set concept and if i have a similar environment name variable environment env name this let me give just slightly different name and if i would like to use the there's a directory name here or i can use here as well anywhere basically you find add dynamic content you go to this section you can use it here you can see that it's showing the data set which is the resource type in which the environment or the parameter is defined and then the data set or the name of the parameter and this is how it can be used like this right that's another difference now as soon as i have added a parameter here use the parameter in my data set now if i go to the pipeline which is using this data set you would find that the parameter has been available as in the property of my data set you can see that the parameter which were defined for data set now it is available as in property to my data set and with pipeline the pipeline is using that data set so i it has to be provided from this pipeline now again i can provide the value of this environment name variable with the parameter which i have defined in my pipeline like this now let's talk about another difference between the variable and the parameter so as you can see that the there is no way i can define or change the value of the parameter so once you define the parameter let's say i have defined a parameters here for my data set of default value is either of you want to define it or not let's say i have decided not to have a default value now if i would like to use that obviously i need to provide a value to this environment variable name 
parameter which I can hard code it or I can provide it from my pipeline variable or pipeline parameters that is okay now, but there is no way I can modify the parameter right let's say if, if my pipeline has multiple activity okay let me just clone this I have multiple of them now same parameter I want to use with a value environment name as in dev here environment name test here or environment name production here which means that my parameter name or parameter value I am expecting on each of these steps to have a diff different value. So is it possible? Answer is no. Once the parameters are defined and it has got the value, it cannot be changed. So it would always have a constant value. What about the vari variables? Yes, with the concept of variable, you could have value change with the variable. Now that is possible with an activity which is a set variable. You can see that this is an activity which we can use to change the value so let me just give you an example how do you change the value so let's say first of all i would like to have the use or change the value of my variable so how do i change the variable variable you go to the settings of your set variable you choose the variable which you would like to set the value let's say environment name i can hard code the value name or I can give it the value name from something else, let's say data factory value. The name of the data factory is going to be the name of my environment variable. This is how I can define it. You can have many permutation combination, different type of functions, all those sort of things you can use, right? Now, here are the two things which we need to be aware of. First thing, we have changed the value here, right? So let me just attach it to here. I'm going to use the environment variable value which we have set, set it right now in the step number one. In the next step, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have another variable, but this time I'm going to clone irrespective of this, right? Set the variable value, but this time again, I'm going to set it, but let's set it the value as an, let's say pipeline name right and then i'm going to use it here and we will use the name of the environment variable like this so just to show you we have a variable which is initiated here for the very first time it is getting used here then again initiated here and then it is getting used here right so a same variable which we have defined at the pipeline level right here which is having a default value we have changed the default value here with the name of the pipeline we have used it here then we have used it the next section and so and so on right which means that it is like it is possible that you can change the value of the variable even after declaring it or even a variable has its default value so it is dynamically you would be able to change it so it's not a constant value so these are the things about the variables and the parameters which you should be aware about it because this is the question it may be asked in the interview that what is the difference between the variables and the parameters with data factory I hope you have found this useful. If it is, please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching it. See you in the next video.